Good morning. I am Santosh Kumar Sir, and I am going to teach you mathematics, chapter polynomial of class nine. So, before starting the chapter polynomial, first off, we will read about the constant variables, algebraic equation, which we have studied in our previous classes. So, first we start from constant. What is constant? What is constant? A symbol whose value is fixed. Symbol whose numerical value is fixed is called constant. So we have written here a symbol whose numerical value is fixed is called a constant. Example 2 minus 3, 1 by 3, minus 2 by 3, root 2, root 3, pi are constant because their numerical value is fixed it cannot be changed so it is a constant now we will discuss about the term variables so now we define variable what is variable well we have defined as a constant that a symbol whose numerical value is fixed is all constant so we define variables as a symbol whose numerical value is not fixed is called a variable so we write here the definition of variables a symbol whose numerical value is not fixed means its value can be different So, a symbol whose numerical value is not fixed is called a variable. And it is denoted by English alphabets as x, y, z or a, b, c. It is, it is denoted as x y z a b c etc so we have discussed here constant and variables now we will come to the algebraic expression what is algebraic expression So the definition of algebraic expression is a combination of constant and variables connected by some or all of the operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division are called algebraic expression. So we write here the definition of algebraic expression, a combination of a combination of constant and variables connected by some or all of operations as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division are called algebraic expression.
So we have discussed here about the constant variables and algebraic expressions. So the example of algebraic expressions are we can write here 3x minus 7 2x square plus 5. These are algebraic expressions. Why? Because we have discussed in our algebraic expression in definition that a combination of constants and variables connected by some or all of operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division are called algebraic expression. So here in the given example as a, we see here 3x here 3 is constant and x is variables and sign or we can say that operation multiplication is used between 3 and x so 3x is an algebraic expression similarly we say about minus 7x here constant is minus 7 and variable is x and operation multiplication is used between 7 minus 7 and x so this is an algebraic expression so for the next example is 2x square plus 5 here 2 is constant x is variable and 5 is also constant here two types of operation have been used one is multiplication between 2 and x square and second is addition so it is an algebraic expression so now we come to the, our next point term of an algebraic expression so now we discuss about terms of an algebraic expression so what is terms of an algebraic expression then we can say that the each part the each part of an algebraic expression The each part of an algebraic expression connected by plus or minus are called terms of an algebraic expression. So we have written here that the each part of an algebraic expression connected by addition or multiplication or subtraction are called terms of an algebraic expression. As an example, we write here 3x square minus 6x plus 7 is a polynomial. Sorry, it is an algebraic expression. algebraic expression here 3x square and minus 6x and 7 these are three parts that are connected by plus and minus operations so these are the terms of an algebraic expression so we write here here 3x squared minus 6x and 5 are terms of the given expression.
So till now we have discussed about the constants, variables, algebraic equation, and terms of an algebraic equation. The last was terms of algebraic equation. We have the each part of an algebraic expression connected by addition or subtraction are called terms of an algebraic expression. An example I have given 3 square minus 6, 6x plus 7 is an algebraic expression. Here 3 square minus 6x six, six and 7 are terms of the given algebraic expression. Then we will come to the our main topic polynomials. So now we write about the definition of polynomial. What is polynomial? So now we have to learn polynomials. What is polynomials? So now we discuss what is polynomial. Then polynomial is an algebraic expression. Polynomial is an algebraic expression. Polynomial is an algebraic expression containing one or more terms connected by Addition, subtraction, and its exponents of the variable must be non negative. Integral power of x. X. Example. Three x square minus eight x plus five. This is example of a polynomial. Why? Because here the variable's power is non-negative, so it is a polynomial. It is a polynomial in x. Why in x? Because this polynomial has been written in the only variable x. It has no any another variables. Only x is written here. It is in the term of x. We can also say that t x is three square minus eight x plus five is a polynomial because it is in the term of x. So t x equal to three x square minus eight x plus five. We can write. So in another word, we also can say the definition of polynomial in general an expression containing one or more terms with variables having non-negative exponents a power is called a polynomial. Example 3x square minus 5x plus 6, 7x cube minus 2x square plus 5x minus 6. This is also a definition of polynomial. Now we will discuss more about 
पोलिनोमियल हाउ वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट इवन एल एक्सप्रेशन इज ए पोलिनोमियल सो द फर्स्ट इज द पावर either we can say that exponents of the variable should not be we either we can say that the power of the variable should non negative integral power of x means the power of the x should be always positive it should not be negative and second the variable should not be in the denominator and third the exponents of variable should not be in fraction so these are the main things to recognize that is polynomial or not first the power of the variable should not non negative integral power of x and the second the variable should not be in the denominator and the third the exponents of the variable should not be in the fraction then we can understand that the given expression is an polynomial or not as example we write say x to the power minus 3 Plus two x square minus five x minus seven. This is polynomial or not? Since the here the power of the variable is negative, so it is not a polynomial in the term of x. Since the exponents of variable is negative so it is not a polynomial second this is a polynomial or not no this is not a polynomial here the variable x square is in the denominator since the variable x square is in denominator so is not a polynomial and the third example i give you x to the power 2 by 3 3 is to the power 2 by 3 plus 7x minus 5 is a polynomial or not since here the power of the variable is in fraction 
so it is not a polynomial since power of variable is in fraction so it is not a polynomial so till now we have learned about constant variables algebraic expression terms of an algebraic expression polynomial and more about polynomials now we will discuss about the types of polynomials so we will discuss here types of polynomials and before this before to know the types of polynomial first of we have to discuss degree of a polynomial then we will discuss about the type of polynomial then what is the degree of polynomial so polynomial in one variable if you write then the highest power of the variable is called a polynomial so polynomial in one variable so polynomial is in one variable is so now we discuss about the degree of polynomials the degree of polynomials the degree of polynomials in one variable is the highest power of x as example seven x to the power three minus two x square plus five x plus six is a polynomial in x. Here highest degree is three. So this is a polynomial. in x of degree 3 next here the second example is 7x to the power 4 minus 3x square plus 5x minus 8 here we see that the highest power of the variable is 4 so the degree of the polynomial is 4 so here 7 x to the power 4 minus 3 square plus 5 x minus 2 is a polynomial in x of degree 4 Now we will discuss the type of polynomials. Types of polynomials on the basis of degree. First, first is linear polynomial. polynomial of degree 1 is 
called a linear polynomial. In another word, we can say f x equal to a x plus b is a form of linear equation. Example five x plus two three x minus seven are linear polynomials. Second is quadratic polynomial. A polynomial of degree two is called a quadratic polynomial. Or in another word, we can say f x equal to x square plus b x plus c is a form of quadratic equation. Quadratic polynomials. Now third is cubic polynomial. A polynomial of degree three is called a cubic polynomial. Or its form is a x cube b x square c x plus t. This is the form of cubic polynomials. And the example of quadratic polynomial is not here. So we write here three x square. Plus five x minus seven. And the example of cubic polynomial is four x cube minus seven x square plus five x plus two. It is a cubic polynomial. So the type of polynomials on the basis of degree we have read here. First is linear polynomial. A polynomial of degree one is called a linear polynomial. In another word, its form is f x equal to a x plus b is a form of linear equation. As an example, five x plus two, three x minus seven are linear polynomials. So now, the second one is quadratic polynomial. A polynomial of degree two is called a quadratic polynomial. In another word, we can say f x equal to a x square plus b x plus c is a form of quadratic polynomial. And in example, we have written here three x square plus five x minus seven. And the third is cubic polynomial. A polynomial of degree three is called a cubic polynomial, and its form is f x equal to a x cube plus b x square plus x plus t. And example is we have given four x cube minus seven x square plus five x plus two. And the next one is biquadratic polynomial. And the next is by quadratic polynomial. A polynomial of degree four is called a 
ए बाई बायटिक पॉलिनोमियल अनदर वर्ड इट्स फॉर्म मे बी ए एक्स टू दी पार फोर डी एक्स टू दी पार थ्री सी एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स प्लस ई Now we will discuss the type of polynomials on the basis of terms. Then the on the basis of terms we have the types of polynomials. First is monomial. Then what is the definition of monomials? Then we can say that polynomial containing One terms is called is a monomial. Have the example three x, three x cube, five x minus seven x, etc. And the second is binomial. So that well in monomial a monomial containing only one terms and in binomial a polynomial containing two terms. So a polynomial containing two terms is called a binomial. Example: three x plus two, five x squared plus seven, three x minus one by two. These all are binomials. Now the next is trinomial. So. A polynomial containing three terms. In monomials, one terms; binomial, two terms; and in trinomial, three terms. So, a polynomial containing we can also write here a polynomial containing three. We can also add here non-zero. A polynomial containing three non-zero terms are called trinomial. Example: three x square plus five x plus six. Here, three terms. And here we see two terms, and here we see there are only one terms. So in monomial only one terms, binomial in two terms, and in trinomial three terms. Now we will discuss about the constant polynomial. Then we will discuss about the well we discuss about the constant polynomials. Then a polynomial containing one term which is a non-zero. So Now next is constant polynomial. A polynomial containing only one non-zero term. A polynomial containing only one. Term. A polynomial containing only one non-zero term is called a 
कांस्टेंट कॉलम में एंड द फिफ्थ इज जीरो कॉलम में so the types of polynomials on the basis of terms was monomial binomial binomial a polynomial containing one term is called a monomial as example we have given here in the binomial a polynomial containing two terms called a binomial example we have given here and in the trinomials we have also given a polynomial containing three terms three non zero terms are called trinomials and the example is given and a constant polynomial a polynomial containing only one non zero constant term constant term is called a constant polynomial and example is 2 minus 3 5 by 6 these are the constant and the last one is zero polynomial and the last is zero zero polynomial so in the zero polynomial a polynomial containing only one terms namely zero so a polynomial containing only one term namely zero is called a zero polynomial and the most interesting thing is that the degree of the zero polynomial is not defined the degree of the zero polynomial is not defined 